Dr. Kwame Nkrumah built about 150 schools across the country, which his government named the Ghana Education Trust Schools. It was during this period that a great school was built in Kuku, Tamale, and was commissioned in 1960. This school was named Ghana College and had an all-boys student population of 70. The school got a Jamaican educationist called Kenneth Luther Pesa as her first headmaster and together with other staff, he laid a solid foundation for the school in academia and extracurricular activities which has over the years set the school apart. As a matter of fact, it was sometime in November 1959 that uh, we went over to Tamale from our various places. I came in from Wa middle day school. We sat for an exam, a special exam actually. After a while we received telegrams, letters that we were successful and so we went to Ghana College as a second batch in September of 1960. At its inception the school admitted and prepared students to sit the GCE Ordinary Level Examinations in the Sciences and Arts programs. In 1978, the school introduced the SIF Form program which admitted successful GCE Ordinary Level students to pursue the Advanced Level program. In June 1970, the name of the school was changed from Ghana College to Ghana Secondary School, Tamale, Ghana School. Ghana School has an unending list of prominent Ghanaians as her alumni, some of whom share their experiences of their days in the school. So they had dropped me off at school at uh, 9 a.m., but we were supposed to report at uh, 5 p.m. So I, nobody was there to receive me, so I left my blue chop box in front of the um, uh, main block. And then I, st I think that uh, the other tree is still out there. So I, I walked across there and climbed the other tree and I was sitting there the whole day. Oh. Yes. Until around uh, 4 30, I realized that they had gone for gardening and they were coming Bruno's house. There was, Bruno's house behind. There was the Pigri and yeah. Brunei, right? Yeah. So I realized that they were coming from. Uh, so I said, oh, maybe this are. So I guess one after that, so I came down from the tree and walked to the to the front of the. Uh, so I said to you, I said to you, go and look at him. Are you ready for my boy? I said yes. And he asked me, why are your shoes? I didn't have shoes. Nothing. I was walking barefooted. So I said, my? So I said that was my trouble. So, so he collected the key, opened it, and took my slippers. It was still in the rubber. You know, those the slippers were sold in rubber. So he tore the rubber, opened it, and put my feet inside. So he just grabbed me. Oh, it was quite an eventful day, and I was I was very tiny. He took my pillow, put it in his uh, armpit, and then uh, took my chop box and asked Anafu, uh, Robert, Robert Anafu, or uh, there were two Anafus. There were two Anafus. The one who was informed two at the time. So there were, he actually put my chop box on Anafu to 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 carry it to. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in form one and somebody carried my chop box. Yeah, yeah, I was doing so he was dragging me. <laughs> I remember very well that we didn't have a girl's brief uh, dormitory. So we were uh, virtually using one of the um, school uh, I think for one of the teachers okay. as our dormitory. So some of us ended up at the boys' quarters, wow. and we gave ourselves uh, the boys' quarters girls. And just opposite was bush. Sometimes it used to be very frightening because uh, you just look over there, no lights and all that. But then it was a very good experience for some of us uh, having to move from our safety zones and then coming there. It really helped us and molded us to be able to face difficulties uh, wherever we go, uh, whether they have water or not. It was a great experience being in Ghana School. I was assigned to Cabral House, and so I was in Cabral House throughout until uh, I finished. I became the prefect of Cabral House. Ghana School helped to mold me and make me what I, what I am. Um, I had come from Achimota Primary 
and so of course the culture of reading and all that had been inculcated in me and then it continued while I was in Ghana school. We had a good library, um, we had good laboratories, uh, chemistry, physics, I mean we had all the regions, we had all the uh, instruments that we needed you know to get a good education. One of my favorite subjects was uh, biology even though I was not a science student <laughs> I used to give the science students a run for their money when it comes to biology. Um, social life was great. Um, we used to take part in a lot of sports. Um, I was part of the Boy Scouts movement. If you remember that picture you saw with uh, Brigadier General Wuni, that was on social media recently. It was on a scouting trip. We had gone into the bush to um, do these scouting activities. Yeah. And so scouting was one of my favorite uh, activities. Um, I was not too good a sportsman. I wasn't good in football. I wasn't good in uh, anything. The only athletics, no, I, I couldn't run. Uh, Babyface and Co were the ones who were the runners, Seaman and others. And uh, Ghana School was a very talented school in sports. And so we used to give Tamasco a very tough time. I mean, when it came to athletics, I mean, we would beat them in athletics. And then I remember the famous uh, football match we played at the Baga Baga Park. And we defeated Tamasco 2 1. <laughs> and they, they beat us. <laughs> they were so sad at losing that they turned on us and started throwing stones at us and, you know, beating us. It was their territory because we were playing it right in their territory. Luckily, some tech students came to our aid and they managed to uh, hold them off while we ran back to our school. So, what is it that sets Ghana School apart? This is a school we started so young, it has turned out very prominent people citizenry. School has produced a precedent for the Republic of Ghana, something we should be very proud of. Uh, produce a first lady, produce a Supreme Court judge, produce uh, professionals. I think that is the school that the memory of which I can never lose until I die. My real formative years, uh, the time that people can get it right or wrong, were really when I was in Ghana school. And I think, thankfully, uh, uh, because of the kind of people who really put their hands in my life, the teachers I mean, and some of my seniors have become who I am today. Secondary education shapes the human in terms of education. But without secondary education, I'm not sure we'll all be where we are. So Ghana School gave us that life and that strength and that education and that opportunity that we are where we are. So we say kudos to Ghana Secondary School Tamale. Ghana School has instilled a discipline in me. The Ghana School taught me the understanding of perseverance. Because I tell people that before I came to Ghana school, I couldn't speak English. I mean, nobody spoke English to me at home. My parents were interested in business. And when I came to Ghana school, that was when I felt the need to also attempt to speak English language. And it is interesting when I tell people this. Ghana school is an achiever. Ghana school has produced a lot of uh, people in diverse, but I must say that very few schools have produced a sitting president and then his spouse. That's a challenge thrown to other schools. Yes, so it's a major achievement of the school. Um, in 1970, uh, we had an Indian uh, expatriate staff together with his students who worked on a rocket and then uh, launched it. In fact, that was the first south of the Sahara to 
uh, we launched. Uh, and it is something that Ghana School cannot lose sight of. In 2019, the 60th anniversary of Ghana Senior High School was launched with the main event expected to happen in 2020. Unfortunately, COVID-19 broke out and all schools were closed down. And when schools reopened after almost a year, there were bans on social gatherings, including holding of mass derbies. However, upon wider consultations, the 60th anniversary of the school has been scheduled for the 26th and 27th of November 2021. This is a diamond anniversary and we all know that diamonds are forever. What it means is that your mother is growing. And so we want to invite everybody in the diaspora, in, the, in Ghana, wherever you are, and you think you can come, you are welcome to come and celebrate with us. Um, our theme is Ghana School Assisting, celebrating our achievements, charting our future. One may ask, Ghana School is 60 years. What is the big deal? It's a big deal for us to celebrate our mother. If your mother is 60 years, then you know that she has come a long way and so she needs to be celebrated. Ghana School has come far and 60 years is no joke. I mean, we all know that uh, if Ghana School were a, a human being, she would have been preparing to retire. Ghana Senior High has impacted my life so much that is. I can say it's the, uh, the school that grew me into uh, becoming whom I am today. More especially when it comes to public speaking. Uh, I was privileged to be part of the drama and debating club of the school and it has actually impacted so much on me when it comes to public speaking. And so I can say without doubt that Ghana Senior High uh, has impacted greatly uh, my life. 16 years in the life of any institution is a great milestone worth celebrating. In the case of Ghana School at 60, our story is phenomenal. We have, since our establishment, consistently produced distinguished and well-accomplished students in the area of academia, law, medicine, the financial services sector, banking, insurance, military, in sports, and in politics. The NASCAR has also produced a number of ministers, MPs, and other statesmen who have produced uh, at least a justice of the Supreme Court before, Justice Akamba, and so many other uh, people. Uh, people like Mr. Alas and Danny now Bishona are all old Danaskans, and I can go on and on. I was a very uh, not too serious student. I remember very well uh, that uh, one of my very close relatives, who is now the headmaster in charge of academy in Ghana School, Mr. Mohamed Utman, used to tell me that I'm a brilliant chap, but I joke a lot and that if I was a little more serious, no one could have beat me in my class. Despite, you know, my non-seriousness, the school was able to groom me to making me who I am today. There is still a lot of room for improvement in our careers, uh, especially in view of the fact that some of us are still very young. We are toddlers, so to speak. But we've been able to do quite a lot for the North and for Mother Ghana in the last three years or so. I had an opportunity to choose between Ghana School and another experimental school somewhere else. And I chose Ghana School and I've never regretted ever choosing Ghana Senior High School. 
This is a school that has produced a president like every other person is saying. It's not a mean achievement. And so when we keep ringing it into the ears of everybody, we should understand how many presidents has Ghana produced, how many of them are from the north, and how many of them ever had the president and the first lady coming from the same school. And during my era, when I was in school, I remember I was in Form 1 or Form 2, when Ghana School won the national debate. It wasn't an interregional or a sectional debate, it was the national debate that was President John Kufo's era. Ghana School would beat every other school and went ahead to win the national debate. This is an achievement that um, is worth celebrating. So Ghana School at 60, we should celebrate the school. We've got people like uh, ambassadors We've got an uh, ambassador, uh, Abib Tijane, who is ambassador to uh, Saudi Arabia, and then ambassador A.A. Abukare, who is ambassador to Kuwait. I think that people know the achievements of Ghana. Talking about human resource, I think that Ghana school, in the, I mean, in all the schools, I can say in so, I mean, most of the schools, Ghana school should be number one. In academia, we have a whole lot of them. In finance and ba uh, banking, in politics, and then uh, in other areas, the security forces, we have our students, our products all over the sphere, all over the spheres of life. So I think that we need to celebrate our achievements. Now talking about that, I want to remind the public that Ghana School was the first school, secondary school in Ghana to launch a rocket. And that time, I can assure the public that the whole of Africa, we, we, we were the first school to launch a, a, a rocket and the second after Russia. But how has preparations been towards this grand celebration? Yeah, the last school 
prepared very well and if you look at our programs we are following the program religiously and uh, today for instance we had a debate and uh, the debate was between uh, Ghana school and our junior brothers and sisters Tamale senior high school and I mean from Saturday, last week Saturday we had the flutes and then Monday the, the, the students enjoyed themselves with fanfare and then Tuesday they went to Jinakpeng and so on and so forth. So we followed our program and I think so far so good. We are on on course to climax on Saturday. Well, I think preparations are quite advanced and the old uh, students are actively involved. Uh, even though I'm in Accra here, but I'm constantly briefed on what is happening on the ground. Uh, the last uh, meeting they had was last week and this was to uh, the, uh, to adapt a budget the school produced for the anniversary celebrations and how all students can support the school to meet the budget. Already we have uh, taxed the year groups and individuals to make uh, voluntary donations and this is ongoing. Over the years, Ganasco has produced a lot of prominent Ghanaians including Justice Joseph Bawa Akamba a retired Supreme Court judge, Honorable Ahmed Yakubu Al Hassan, former MP for Myung Quest 20 and former Deputy Minister for Agriculture, Dr. Al Hassan and Dani, former MD, Stambik Bank Ghana, and the Paramount Chief of Pisho Traditional Area, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed Awal, the current Minister for Tourism, Dr. Hassan Ayarga, founder of the All People's Congress. Abidi Ayu Pele, three times African footballer of the year. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, former president of the Republic of Ghana. Her Excellency Lordina Mahama, former first lady of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency Naboli Nasaka, Ghana's ambassador to Burkina Faso and a host of others. Not only has the school produced a lot of prominent Ghanaians, the performances of the institution at the West African Examinations Council has always been one of the best in the whole country. Five years. We have the I'm just going to give you the core subject, the core subject, the sort of, uh, uh, I'll give you the core subject. We have uh, social studies. If you take uh, 2016, we have 88%. If you take uh, 2017, we have 78.2. That was a decline. Then if you take uh, 2018, we have 92.1%. Uh, That's an increase. Then if you take 2019, we'll have 91.5. A little slight difference between the 2018 and the 2019. But in actual fact, 2018, it was more than what we have to take seven percent. Then if you take English language, which I know will be very important, you will be keenly looking for some of these things. Uh, in uh, 2016, we have 89%. In 2017, we have 86.2%. That's the a decline. In 2018, we have 87.8%. It means that we have improved from the 2017 to 2018. In 2019, uh, there's a 1% uh, decrease or from uh, decimals. That we have 86.1%. But in 2020, in English, we have 91.8. That's an increase. Then, if you take core mathematics, in 2016, we have 76%, 76.7%. In 2017, we have 
We buy in general because that are for the good country. Uh, in 2018, we have 45 point, which is a decline. So we took steps to improve the academic performance, especially in mathematics. So there were uh, classes that we organized, extra classes, that we call intervention classes and other things. Then in 2019, we have 76 point. Uh, 8% and in 2020, 88%. In inter science, we have 84%, 94.4% in inter science, 82.9% uh, that 2017. 2018, we have 83.5%. Then, like I told you, looking at the results, we're not too happy. Then, because of that, we uh, rolled some extra classes for them in the intervention classes. So in 2019, we have 92.2, uh, uh, but in 2020, it was 81%. Great Ghana School has over the years won a lot of trophies, but despite all these successes, just like any other senior high school, after 60 years, Ghana School still faces a lot of challenges. The challenges are numerous, uh, in fact, but uh, one most important challenge is uh, the school perimeter fence world. It's not complete and uh, we haven't been able to get it completed because the contractor uh, has uh, run sort of funds and therefore is unable to uh, complete it. Uh, if you are just entering Ghana school on a normal day, I think you are going to be welcomed by animals, cattle, sheep, and goods. And uh, unfortunately, the school does not own an animal farm, they don't rear animals. This animal belongs to the members of the community, Kuku community, some for team some from the Papa and the rest. And they disturb us a lot, especially our office. Why do I say so? Because in the morning we come to supervise students to do cleaning. Sometimes we come into the school in the morning and in front of this administration block and at the back of the administration block, feces, animal fecal mark, or animal feces. And the students will have to sweep them before and tidy up the place. We need at least a special science and mass piece of the improvement. In actual fact, we are trying to form a team of teachers and students to build the science and mass group background. So, in this room, we want to see whether the food West can come to our help in such a way that. Uh, at least for every semester, we can have a quiz with other schools even outside the region, like Bentley, Mota, Amal School, so that we can learn from the experience. One of the greatest legacies that the current headmistress, Hajia Amina M. Musa, is leaving behind is the newly constructed staff common room.
a project that is uh, that is dear to the heart of everybody in the school. In fact, uh, when I took over, I realized that the staff common room that accommodated the staff was too small for them. The school was established in 1960, and the staff common room that was serving just a few teachers continued to serve over 150 teachers now. When you come to the school, you realize that because it is a small room, some of the teachers sit under trees. They don't have a space in the staff common room. Anytime we want to do a, a staff meeting, we have to sack students or send students away from the library to occupy the library so that every teacher can be accommodated in the room. And so it was a project that was a priority for us. We have been thinking about it for a long period of time. The unfortunately, when we organized our speech and prize giving day, we appealed for fans. And the former president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, promised or pledged to give the school 50,000 cities. And so with the 50,000 cities as seed money, we started the project. And then uh, even though it, it didn't go anywhere, but I think by God's grace, we've been able to put up the edifice through appeals for funds and some some stakeholders have come to even donate materials i mean we have some contractors on the school we appeal to them some even gave us machines so at the end of the day we were able to put up this edifice and uh, you just must see it i think that it can now accommodate more than 600 uh, staff and i believe that the school will use it to even generate income for the development of the school. I think that it's, um, it, it will serve as an, a staff resource center instead of a staff company. We are going to uh, put this structure to food and maintain it so that it will last. We we'll appeal to Oga and other stakeholders to support us with the furniture to make our work. But do all well and at the end of the day all of us benefit from when we finished with the staff common room we uh, realized that we needed some other things especially the uh, uh, interior decoration we don't have furniture for the staff common room we don't even have curtains yet we still have some little little things to do to make it uh, comfortable for the staff to use uh, the air condition, in fact, uh, fortunately, Bank of Ghana holds to the holds Ghana Scans Association. They donated a number of uh, air conditioners. They brought four of them and then they installed three in the staff in the library. And so I pleaded with them to uh, also get some for us. They, they sent one to the staff, new staff common room and they have promised to bring two or three uh, in addition, so they can make the staff common room a little bit comfortable for the staff. There, we don't have a, a, a TV set, and we need a DSTV for the, 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 the teachers. So we want, to, uh, we want to appeal to the old boys, we want to appeal to other stakeholders to assist us, get all these necessary things to make the... the, the the, the place comfortable for the, the teachers so they can relax during their free periods and then prepare themselves again for the next lesson for the students to enjoy them. The school has for many years now been the envy of so many other senior high schools when it comes to sporting facilities. An ultra-modern basketball court, handball, volleyball courts, and others, including a football pitch, makes the school stand out when it comes to sporting activities. The school cadet corps, which is the Ghana Air Force, 
is one of its kind in the north and all is set for them to have a wonderful display on the Grand Deba Day. The school dam, which was built to help solve the water crisis problems of the school, is also being used by people of the surrounding communities. The old Ganaskans Association has over the past few years been doing a great job in shaping the school. Uh, for the old boys, I think that I am the only headmaster who can beat a headmistress who can beat my chest and say that the old boys had supported me. In fact, when I took over in 2016, I decided to go on an old, uh, old uh, boys and girls drive, membership drive. I invited them and then I threatened them that if they don't come, I was going to burn their fires. And they didn't want me to burn their fires, so they all came up. But in fact, I've enjoyed myself as far as the old students are concerned. Some have come to do projects. In fact, quite a number of them have come to do projects. Others have donated in cash, in kind. In fact, I have enjoyed the support of the old boys and girls. And I hope that they will continue the support to their alma mater. We still have challenges. And so I believe that the students, I mean, the old boys will still uh, uh, come to meet with management and then to pick some of the challenges and help us move the school forward. The various year groups and individuals have supported the school in various projects and uh, it's quite a, a tall uh, list and uh, the school has appreciated this. Of course, we could do more and we are hoping to do more, but they have done quite a lot. Taking a stroll around campus, you would testify that Oga has really done a lot for the school. As low as 70 all male students in 1960, what is the student population of Kanasko today? So for now we have year one and year two on campus. And for year ones we have they have uh, about 449 orders and then 154 day students. Together they are a little above 600. Then for year twos we have 1222 borders with 60 day students and there are also about 1282 students. Now altogether we have about 1671 borders, 214 day students and that gives us a total of about 1885 students, almost 2000 students. Of course, Ghana Senior High School is a boarding school and boarding students are classified into various houses. Pesa Dakwema House, Banzaba Cabral House, Nkrumah Bewa and Gupegu Houses are the main houses for the boys. For the girls, there is the Lodina House 1, 2 and 3 and the Independent Houses, also known as Indies 
and Indies Annex houses. If you are a Ganaskan, then you are privileged to be one. But remember that there have been others who are great personalities in the country who used to be like you. What lessons can you take from these people who were once like you? I, I like to just say that, just keep at it. You see, I, I was once given an opportunity to talk to the youth about their life. And I said that in one sentence, that you have no business about any other thing except educating themselves. Well, you are youth. So the people who tell you what you should do, just listen to them and you'll be higher than them tomorrow. That's about it. So I try to listen to everybody that was trying to make me a good person. And I didn't also listen, I didn't only listen, I also practicalized what and internalized what they were telling me. And I believe that's where, why I am today. Fortunately, I also became a teacher for a brief period. And I also used to tell students what they should try to be. And I can tell from my uh, many years later, I can tell that those who listen to me seem to be better off than those who didn't. So the youth of today, yes, life is very fast. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But the basics of life, such as listening to people, doing what is right, being disciplined, applying yourself to your books, etc. Those ones haven't changed. And I don't think they will change. It is the processes that have changed and become faster. But you, so you cannot climb faster unless you pass your exams well. And that is what I always advise the youth today. The only weapon that the youth of today have to capture the world tomorrow or to conquer the world tomorrow is education. Well, I always tell them that they're in paradise compared to what uh, we have. And I always say, if I had the opportunities that the current generation has, I would have probably been a nuclear scientist. Not just, yeah. So I would have been a nuclear scientist. Today, you guys are holding these smartphones, which is everything. You can learn, you can do whatever. I mean, water, we used to rock to Vitim Dam to, to carry water on. And you, did, you had to wake up early in the morning because by seven, the assembly was seven something, right? So, by 4.30, we were all lined up to return to collect those. And you were not fetching for yourself, you were fetching for a senior to bath. And then he'll give you something small to, you know, clean the armpit and the face to go. No, it's so tough. And, uh, of course, the teachers were disciplined. They made sure that you did your work. But, uh, I mean, of course, those days, food was not bad. Food was available and the uh, senior and people don't eat, so you still collect uh, whatever they left and uh, you know. But uh, in terms of um, facilities now, they're much, much uh, easier. Yeah, they, 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 uh, the facilities are there and, and they should, people should take advantage. We, we had quite a tough time. You know? But in a way, the tough time you know, has its own good size. So today, you know, we are better for what the conditions were then. So I only hope that people don't, uh, you know, allow the softness of this time to soften them because the world will always be tough and you've got to take the challenge. Whatever you are learning, people are learning the same thing or better. You have to struggle for your space. There's, there's nothing reserved for anybody. You know, you've got to struggle for your space. So people should take advantage. I think that life is what you make it and school is you know, the advantage you take of the opportunity to learn. Um, if you make it your priority that you want to learn and you want to go as far as your mental capacity can take you, you should be able to make it. Um, today, they are even more advantaged because they have social media, Google and all that. I mean, if, if, if you want the meaning of something or you want to research something you just go on google and the whole world's knowledge comes onto your phone we didn't have that if you wanted to research on something you had to go to the library and look for the appropriate book you might not get what you are even looking for in one book you have to get several books and go through to be able to get you know what you are looking for today they don't have that disadvantage and so it should be easier 
you know, for them to learn than it was for us, you know. So um, I think that it is how serious you are. And if you know that education is a social mobilizer and it creates the stairway for you to climb up in, li in life, then you take advantage of it. Um, it's also the motivation you get from your teachers and the leadership of the school. And so it depends on your own motivation to take advantage of the learning uh, that you're doing and then also the motivation that you get from your teachers and the leadership of the school. I think that that combines to make you who you are. Is Ghana school really as good as they say it is? When we come to Ghana school, we have selfless and devoted teachers who make sure that the students are able to acquire the basic knowledge they need to have to, to have access to the tertiary institutions, to be further trained to satisfy the map of Mother Ghana. Ghana Senior High School, the chairs are doing well. We have the library, the ICT lab, the physics lab, the biology lab, and a whole lot of things which, is, which has been helping the students to have good results. Beyond the 60 years, where do we want to see Ghana School in the next 10 years? Five to ten years from now, uh, we hope to get a motivated staff and students. And then uh, Ghana School to be a place of academic excellence. And then we, we also hope to get more accommodation for staff and students. And then we also want to uh, nurture more students through increase intake. We hope to uh, get more students on board for self and national development. Uh, if you pick so many students, you are likely to get more presidents, more bankers, more security men, and so on and so forth. As we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the school, uh, thank you to all those teachers who have been part of this uh, impactful life. Kudos to Ghana School for making all of us who we are today. And we say, Are you going to be Ghana Yeah.